Hey guys, Fazu here. Welcome back to Mobius Empire Rising. Alright, let's go to the National Library. We need to search for more clues on Caroline. Alright, here we are. And it looks amazing. This is the famous reading room of Richelieu. It's quite beautiful. The main library is much more modern in appearance. Huh. So, famous reading room. I wonder if this is modeled after the real thing or not. And... Oh, archives. It looks like that book drop is for the archives. I bet they have some fascinating historic documents in there. Huh. It's strange having someone follow me everywhere. But given what happened in Cairo, I don't have much choice. Well, you better get used to this. <laughs> the garbage can. Uh, I got a point just by looking at this. Wow. <laughs> coffee cup. Whoever was drinking that coffee wears a vile shade of orange lipstick. Orange lipstick? Ugh. Looks more like Tobasco sauce. <laughs> I don't have any use for those dregs of coffee. Okay. Moo. Moo? Huh. Alright, the librarian. Oh, you can analyze her. The head librarian, I presume. She has an interesting fashion sense. Really? <laughs> so, we have five data points. Cold, disinterested eyes, not attracted to me, prefers blondes? You mean blonde like David Walker here? <laughs> Hates British accents. Resents being interrupted at work. Yep, this is probably it. And orange lips, trying to draw attention to her lips. Forgot what colors her clothes are. Zero fashion sense. Huh. So that cup of coffee in the garbage can is hers. And um... So, uh, forgot what colors her clothes are. I don't think so. Yeah, I think she is drawing attention to her lips. <laughs> Uh, tense shoulders, hasty music, uptight person, rule enforcer. Well, she is a librarian after all, so. Yep, I think that is right. Over exercise and strained muscles. Nope. <laughs> Bright, passionate colors, cheerful person. She doesn't look cheerful, so that is wrong. <laughs> Sexually frustrated. Huh. Or colorblind. Um, she's not colorblind. Her shoes kind of matches her jacket here. The coat. There's a purple rim here. So, uh, maybe she is sexually frustrated. <laughs> okay, slight hand tremor. Coffee drinker, low on caffeine. Yep. We know she drank coffee, so... Car carpal Tunnel Syndrome, I have no idea what that is. Or has a fear of foreigners. Nope. I think it's the first one, so let's click finish. Oh, got something wrong. Um, what did I get wrong? This is right, I think. Right passion the colors, it could be this one. Ten shoulders, uptight person, rule enforcer, yep. That is correct. Orange lips. Um, cold and disinterested eyes. You know what? This one. Sexually frustrated and trying to draw attention to lips. This two go in sync. And if those two are right. Okay, why do we try this one? Not attracted to me, but prefers David Walker. <laughs> so, yeah, those three answers, they go together. Um, uh, oh, got it right this time. So an uptight by the book librarian with a caffeine addiction who is desperate for a man like David Walker. 
but definitely not for me. Oh, <laughs> Malachi just got rejected. Okay, so let's talk to the librarian. Excuse me. Yes, may I help you? Yes. You have any information on Caroline Alphonse? I'm looking for information on Caroline Alphonse. Newspaper articles, a biography, things of that nature. If you mean the current Caroline Alphonse, she's much too young to have a biography. But there should be clippings from the press. Take uh, computer number two at the table over there. I'll send you what I find. Thank you. So, you mean there is a, an old Caroline Alphonse? A second one? Uh, and what about Benedict de Montfroy? Do you have any information about Benedict de Montfroy? Let me look that up. There is something in the private archives, but access to that material is by invitation only. I'll pay. What's the fee? There is no fee. You must apply for a special grant and demonstrate the need for access. The process takes weeks. Would you care to fill out the form? No. That won't be necessary. Damn French bureaucracy. Huh. Looks like we have to get that information another way. And uh, about your coffee. Is there a place to get coffee around here? Unfortunately, no. I wish there was. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Huh, but we can get coffee back at the hotel that we're living in. Um a piece of paper here. There's a post-it note on her monitor, but I can't see what it says. Huh, sticky note. Can we grab it? I don't think the librarian would appreciate it if I took her post-it note. Oh, we need to distract her. Uh... Well, she is attracted to David Walker here. <laughs> Can we get him to flirt with her? I don't have anything to say to Mr. Walker at the moment. Oh. Maybe not. <laughs> huh. Alright, so this is the computer. Those computers appear to be for public use. Alright, let's take a look. So, Caroline Alphonse... Caroline was engaged to a 43-year-old man when she was just 19. Huh. So from the road, Senator Gerald de Villiers, 43, announced today his engagement to Caroline Alphonse, the daughter of venture capitalist Henry Alphonse. Caroline Alphonse, who only recently turned 19 on 3rd of June, has become a new and welcome face on the Paris social scene following a year-long stint as the face of local cosmetics brand Nobio Visage. While the senator, 24 years her senior, has previously been called one of France's most eligible up-and-comers in the political world, the engagement is unexpected, but the couple has been quietly dating for a year now, enjoying their privacy and are thrilled about planning their wedding for the spring of 2013, following a fond graduation from L. Cole Normale Superior de Paris. Hmm. Caroline's parents divorced when she was still a teenager. Oh, so Henri and Madeline Alphonse, we are through. Venture capitalist and millionaire Henri Alphonse and White Madeline have officially filed for divorce, citing irreconcilable differences. What insider reports say Henri's infidelity is the true cause of the split. Hmm. And proven to be the case, Madeline can breathe a sigh of relief as a prenup has a very specific infidelity clause that will ensure she will never worry about money again. Henry's office refused all claims of infidelity on his part of course, but readers may remember some photos in last month's issue of businessmen dining with unidentified women at the romantic Riverside restaurant. Considering Henri's Alphonse's impressive pedigree, with inheritances from the Alphonse, Capetian, and the Bourbon families, there should be quite a nice settlement indeed. 
whatever the cause of the split, we can only hope it remains civil for the sake of the couple's only daughter, Caroline and Fawn's still just a teenager herself. Alright, is there another article here? Interesting. Caroline's fiancé called off the engagement. I wonder why. I'll take a photo of these in case I need to reference them later. Alright, so almost four months after the engagement announcement, Senator Dave Villiers has released a statement that he has broken off his engagement to Caroline and Fonz. Citing personal reasons, the Senator has declined to speak further about the ending of the relationship. Alphonse's only comment, I'm deeply saddened, but I respect Gerald's decision, and I will always care deeply about him. Right now, I'm focusing on completing my degree at L'École Normale Supérieure. Though the breakup was clearly initiated by the Villiers, neither party is elaborating on the reasons for the split. Speculations run from Alphonse's young age to the Villiers' upcoming run for re-election. Anticipated to be a hot fight for the senator, political advisors and wonder at the wisdom of the timing of this announcement and the impact it will have on De Villiers' public image as well. It's known that the senator is a modest means and Alphonse's family fortune was undoubtedly a boon to funding his campaign. Hmm, and you know what? There are some dates here on this article, so I think one of them is going to open up that safe back in Caroline's bedroom. Alright. So, archives. Huh, we need a password. You can't here. get into the archives without a password. Alright, so. How do we distract the librarian? I think the password is on this sticky note here. Um. Maybe I need to get her a cup of coffee. Yep, the coffee cup here. Oh, wait, now we can grab it. I think I know whose coffee this is. I'd like a closer look. Oh. So, let's take a look then. The orange lipstick on that coffee cup is familiar. There's just enough left in the cup for me to get a sample. Huh, so a sample. What if we show this cup to the barista back at the hotel? Maybe he can make us a similar cup, right? <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the hotel then. We need a cup of coffee. Okay, so um, let's talk to the barista. I suppose I could buy a coffee for someone else. Yep. Un café. S'il vous plaît. Un moment. Three euros, please. Merci. Merci. Oh, wait. Should we show him that cup? Uh, the old cup. Wait, hold on. Huh, can I use any items here? Uh, cream and sugar. Maybe we need to adjust it ourselves. Uh, oh, right here. Huh, we have cream. That's cream. Um, sugar? Ordinary white sugar. Oh, so this is a used coffee cup from the garbage can. It's rather tan. It definitely has some cream in it. Okay, cream. It tastes sweet. Far too sweet for my palate. Uh, so... The color seems a little off. Let's add some cream then. Looks similar, the color. Is it enough? The color of the coffee looks right. Okay, so now sugar. How many bags? It's not quite sweet enough. Oh, now one more bag. And is that enough? 
I think the coffee is correct now, but perhaps I should dress it up a bit. Dress it up? Oh, with this? Apple cutter. A pea cutter. Star cutter. Heart cutter. Uh, which one should I use? Um, maybe it doesn't matter which one I use, right? <laughs> Let's use a heart. Uh, oh, we got some points, so guess that's all right. This should appeal to a lonely librarian. Lonely librarian looking for love. Yep, I think the heart is the correct answer here. Alright, so let's go back out. We have the coffee. Back to the library then. <laughs>